Hi everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Thai Prop 101. I'm Valen from DWG Malaysia and we are an international property investment firm whereby we are specializing in global property investment. And today we have a guest and her name is Bella. Hi everyone, my name is Bella from Bell and Rose. We are a real estate consultancy company providing one-stop solution services to our international clients. We are also a pointed uh, M2H company. That's good, uh, and of course, thank you so much for joining us today. And we will be talking about Thailand property investing. So I understand that your team has taken an interest into Thailand properties. Yes. Um, my team is actually focused in the uh, international market like China, Hong Kong. So um, I think Thailand properties will be an exciting um, additional to our portfolio. But I'm also wondering because uh, market into the uh, Malaysia market property is really very really tough. So what actually make your company venture into Thailand property? Uh, definitely there will be several reasons but uh, when it comes to the overall performance in terms of ROI and the depreciation of the ringgit uh, which is the currency uh, it's, it's, it's the biggest factor that we actually consider to venture into Thailand. So Berlin, as you mentioned right, Thailand um, Thailand market actually have a better ROI in terms of the investment. So, um, but I'm also wondering, like um, during the COVID time, does the the COVID really hit the Thailand market? Uh, definitely, I have to say yes. Uh, when COVID hit us, it mm -hmm. hits globally. Mm -hmm, yeah. But uh, also based on when the moment we dig more into Thailand properties, mm -hmm. and we notice their sub sales are still standing strong. Wow. And we are also confident that for Thailand government's initiative and when the borders open globally, mm -hmm. uh, for their economy is actually they will recover in no time. That's amazing. Just very curious, like um, what is the price difference between Malaysia and Thailand? Um, for Thailand, right now, uh, what I'm gonna say is they are still one of the countries in Southeast Asia that you can still buy a property in CBD mm -hmm. with a budget of 1 million. Mm -hmm. And as for the price differences, I mean, for Malaysia, the most expensive property that we are having, uh -huh. it's selling at roughly 3,000 max 3, per square foot. Per square feet, yeah. Right? But in Thailand, their most expensive property are selling at 15,000 ringgit one per five. square foot. One yes, five. it's 1.5. It's wow, hour times four. <laughs> and it also reflects on the spending power uh -huh. when it comes in between Thailand and Malaysia. I see, I see. So according to what you say, um, do you think that Malaysia property is, is a better deal? Uh, well, yes. Uh, Malaysia is always listed as one of a very good retirement country mm -hmm. due to the affordable cost of living mm -hmm. and so many, actually so many Malaysia can actually own a home. But what that means to a property investor? Mm -hmm. I mean, should property investors just look at the affordability or do they really have to look at their ROI for their investment? Does it mean that Malaysia property like um, not worth investing in? Of course not. Uh, Malaysia property are still worth investing in but always remember one rule when it comes to property investment. It's mm. never venture all your eggs into one basket. I agree. So if you already invest into Malaysia and you haven't started your journey investing into other country, mm -hmm. perhaps this might be the time for you to really consider. Mm, right? I agree, I agree. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video mm -hmm. and if you really find this uh, information it's really good for you, please hit the like, subscribe and share. Alright? <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much Bella for You're joining welcome. us today. Thanks for your time also. Thank you and we will see you soon. Bye.